Good morning and welcome to Bally Springs with me, Adam. So, as everyone knows, I'm from England. And in England, we tip corn and stuff into places like this, just on the ground. Heap it up. Well, I've been looking at this. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice modelling, but something about it in the last episode or two has just been making me think, oh, it's not, I mean, it's okay, but it's not like, A grain shed, like you would see. So, I'm currently working on purchasing one of these. But before we do that, <coughs> just going to run up here and check the sheep. Still got ten sheep. Which is a good, good start. Got half a pallet there. Alright, so we're going to run down the road. Turn right here. And we're going to crack on with this. Now. Bell size. Let me just check something. Some reason you got to turn the engine on to change. I'm going to go small bales now. And let's just instantly change it to straw. So that's good. And what I didn't do, press that button there. Now I've gone to 125 mils just because I'm curious to what the size is. It's going to be about 5,000. But look at this. Yeah. That seems to work better so when you're st storing them it's going to be easier when you're putting them into the um, feeder wagon for the cows it makes life easier as well Anyway, I am going to crack on with this and I'll see you when I'm back.
Right, there you go. So, we didn't quite manage to fill the baler again. Yeah, so we didn't manage to quite fill it. We got 62%. But we got a whole load of bales. And a tiny. So that's good. 5,000 kilos. Yeah, 5,000 litres. And... This is 22,000 litres. If... Correct, yeah. So that gives me plenty of wiggle room when it comes to bailing <coughs> and making sure I get it right and not turning it into forage instead of um, TMR. So I'm going to park this back. What we're going to have to do is really work on getting the farm upgraded don't get me wrong the equipment's not too bad that can live there for now so unfortunately if I go to here this building here, that's a cow barn, so they're both interlinked. <coughs> Which is slightly annoying. And if I try and find the ones for Valley Springs. I mean, I've got this one I can have instead, which is slightly shorter, but that's a, well, that's a shed without a pasture. And then they've got these ones. So got these ones here. Got these absolutely huge ones. So yeah, that's what I'm sort of stuck with at the moment. I'd love, I'd have been happy if I could clear this one off and keep this one because I think it works really, really well. But it is what it is. This barn is okay, but I tested it and put a whole load of wheat here and it bled through the walls so yeah that's that's the annoying bit this is a drive through silo but I don't want a silo anymore I want to be able to tip it on the ground all these barns bleed so I'm just trying to work out what's best options Because at the moment, I am looking into, if I can find it, something like this. Yes, it's probably a bit taller, or even a smaller version of it, like this. This would be perfect. But I've got to sell my crops inside the silo first I could go down there 
the big barn route, but that means I've got to clear a whole load of space and I'll be going into the field. Um, let's see what else i got. Yeah, these English sheds, these ones are the ones I like. Now, to put one of these in, I'm going to have to move all of these sheds here. So that's this one, this one, and the silo. I probably could make a double one work. I don't think they get any bigger than that. Oh yes I do. This one has vehicle storage. So yeah, that's 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 where I'm at. That one could possibly work. I'll just have to go into the field a bit. But then I'm losing space. Between the sheds, there's not a lot of room there. So yeah, that's where I'm at with that. I'm going to leave the episode there. Thank you for watching. What I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all these bales. And store them. Like that. So they're all stacked up on top of each other like that now in England we didn't store them like that we stored them against each other like this and they even do it like that in Australia to be fair because they have like that across the road and then you stack them on top but this just looks like a more secure way of doing it I've already swapped my... Where is it? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? There. My little trailer over to the bale trailer. So I can collect them. Nice and easy. i just got to get the... Absolute brilliant John Deere. From Black Sheep Modding and take that down there and collect them so yeah that's where I'm at so I'll see you in the next episode goodbye for now